This is Ryan from Ox Audio in Cheltenham, Pennsylvania. And stay with me, I'm gonna show you the 1990 Jeep YJ we just did our Sony ES build in. We chose this Jeep to do our ES build in for a few different reasons. Number one, Jeeps are super popular around here. Number two, this vehicle has probably the worst audio system you could ever imagine for a factory audio system. And we really wanted to showcase what we can actually do with any vehicle. This is probably one of the most unfriendly vehicles to work on when it comes to audio systems. Now the reason we chose using the 9500 and not using any sort of DSP is we really wanted to show off what you can actually do with the 9500 as far as the DSP features and the individual speakers EQ. So we used the RTA, we put the microphone on the driver's seat, set everything to the driver's seat. That way when a customer comes into the business they can sit in the driver's seat or we could flip the time alignment to the passenger seat if they want to sit over there but it's a one seat vehicle we could do a center channel make it a two seat vehicle if we put a dsp but that wasn't the point the point was we wanted to basically build the whole vehicle using all sony es product we didn't want to use any standalone dsps we wanted to showcase the dsp all the audio settings in the 9500 we went back and forth about where to put the amplifier in this vehicle for probably a day or so. It was going to go under the seat, then it was going to go in the box, but I wanted the box to be removable. And we ended up saying screw it, and we did it right in the dash. And the whole point in this, we wanted the ES product right in front of the customer's face. So our basic idea behind this is that a customer is going to get in here it's going to be like staring at a demo wall inside a shop, except you're staring at it in an actual vehicle. And you're going to be able to use it and listen to it the way that it was designed to be listened to. Since we really wanted to show everything that the 9500 could do, we took three different cameras. We made one a reverse camera. That's one's flushed into the bumper. And we made the other two cameras front left and front right plow cameras. So we're gonna flip the toggle switch. I'll push button switch. And then when I turn the left turn signal on, that's actually a left plow camera. Because when the plow blade is down, you'll actually see it and know that you're not gonna rip up somebody's driveway. Because this Jeep does get used for plowing a lot, as well as a summer cruiser. Let me come over to the right side. We have our right plow camera. Obviously, we just wanted to showcase these because they can be used as blind spot cameras, but on this, it's kind of useless, so we figured we'd do something cool with them. Now down here, we have our base knob. We also wanted to plaster it with the Mobile ES logo. So we went and had color-matched spray paint made up to match the gold on the tweeters. And we put the logo in the box, put it on top of the box. We are gonna build a, uh, a panel here real big that says Sony and then bedline that just like the box. And we build an emblem for the doors. There's one on each side of the doors. And one of the coolest things about this vehicle we are going to park it out front of the business just like this with the doors wide open the mobile es logo everywhere 
we're going to let customers basically hop in it whenever they want. And we're also planning on putting a Nintendo in there, an original NES. Well, it's a Chinese remake, but a little NES that basically is a conversation piece. You want to go in and play a game of ice hockey or Mike Tyson punch out, whatever. And I think this is going to help a ton with mobile ES cells because customers are going to be able to hop in, experience the product in a vehicle where they can actually listen to it and see what it's going to do. And they can basically just hop right in it whenever they want. And we can go over how to work everything. We can go over the radio. Customers are hands-on. They want to touch everything. And that's kind of why we built everything to be right in front of your face. That's why we put the radio right in the center of the dash, the tweeters and the mid-ranges right on top. Those grills are removable, so if we want to pull them off, they're magnetic. We could show the customer that he could just snap them right off. Also, it'll show all the custom work we're able to do. So if a customer wanted to have speaker pods made or they wanted to have fiberglass work done, if they wanted to have a box built or trim plates done, anything, laser engraving, whatever it is, it basically shows everything that we can do.